welcome to this week's Friday Night Live with me, Rosemary Mills. Yes, thanks, Sarah. I am indeed at Wembley for tonight's concert in aid of Great Ormond Street Hospital. Now, if I mentioned a double glazing salesman, a studio tea boy, a painter and decorator, a vehicle painter and a keyboard player in a nightclub, you'd probably think I was babbling about my mates down the pub. But I'd actually mean Robbie, Mark, Jason, Howard and Gary, who we all know as the classic, but now departed, take that. How long has it, have you actually been here, Massa? Uh, it's about uh, two years now. Yeah, that's um, about round about the Blonde Ambition tour here. Uh, I'd say that when we yeah. it was when we first sort of got it together. Yeah. Yeah. George Michael will be appearing tonight, and hopefully singing a duet with Lisa Stansfield. And what with Robbie leaving the summer before, they vowed on their last tour that they stayed together without Robbie as long as the fans wanted them to. With all this going on, it makes you think there's more to them splitting up than meets the eye and it's bound to come out sooner or later, because they were just growing out of their teeny bop image and developing their own style appealing to all ages. There he is in all his glory. Now, if you don't remember Mr Ben, you're probably wondering what all the fuss is about. But for £7.99, it's a bargain for those who couldn't forget that silly music and that funny bowler hat. It's a complete sellout here tonight, and the concert organisers are hoping to raise £700,000 for the charity. All in all, it looks to be a great night. That's Rosemary Mills for MTV News, Back to the studio. But before you take that fans get up on your soapbox and cause a riot, I'll leave you with a look back over their careers and the acclaimed video. Never forget, get your hankies out. I just wondered what your views were on the Scottish film industry working with the British film industry today. Well, I think your, very, your opening speech there sort of points out that the fact that the Scottish and the British film industry, uh, there is a difference in the North side south divide again the british film industry in my opinion should encompass scotland obviously as you can see like they're making their name now so maybe in the future it's good know. yeah you just keep pushing forward yeah. with these things you know i mean i'm not bitter about it and i've been accused in the past of sort of being this nationalistic flag waver which isn't true at all i simply want to see scotland as, a, as an industry thrive have a fabulous week until next time good night Woo! Woo!